The World Register is an independent news source. Our goal is to be a leading provider of truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting about people, places, and events. We currently use other news outlets to provide content and are not responsible for their version of events. Reuters News Agency reports today that Ford Motor Company will export the next-generation Focus Compact car from China to North America in 2019, rather than from Mexico as earlier planned, saving the company $500 million. It is the first major manufacturing investment decision made by the new Chief Executive Officer Jim Hackett, who succeeded Mark Fields in late May. The decision also signals a shift in strategy at Ford, which is responding to low fuel prices and to the U.S. consumer demand by de-emphasizing small cars while boosting U.S. production of trucks and SUVs. In January, after U.S. President Donald Trump criticized Ford for shipping small car manufacturing to Mexico, Ford said it would kill plans to build a $1.8 billion focus plant in San Luis Potosi, Mexico, and instead produce the new focus at an existing plant in Hermosillo, Mexico. The White House had no comment. No existing U.S. jobs will be affected by shifting focus production to China, Ford said, adding that it employs more U.S. hourly workers and builds more vehicles in the United States than any other automaker. The United Auto Workers declined to comment. In another report by Reuters News Agency, U.S. President Donald Trump's administration is exploring hardening its approach toward Pakistan to crack down on Pakistan-based militants launching attacks in neighboring Afghanistan. Potential administration responses being discussed include expanding U.S. drone strikes, redirecting or withholding some aid to Pakistan, and perhaps eventually downgrading Pakistan's status as a major non-NATO ally. U.S. officials are skeptical of the prospects for success, arguing that years of previous efforts to curb Pakistan's support for militant groups have failed. Also, strengthening U.S. ties to India undermine chances of a breakthrough with Pakistan. U.S. officials say they generally seek greater cooperation with Pakistan. The administration is due to finish a regional review by mid-July of the strategy guiding the 16-year-old war in Afghanistan. And the Daily Caller reports today that a scientific consensus has emerged among top mainstream climate scientists suggesting there was a nearly two-decade-long hiatus in global warming that climate models failed to accurately predict or replicate. A new paper led by climate scientist Benjamin Santer adds to the ever-expanding volume of hiatus literature embracing popular arguments advanced by skeptics and even uses satellite temperature data sets to show reduced atmospheric warming. The paper also discusses the failure of climate models to predict or replicate the hiatus or slowdown in early 21st century global temperatures. Interestingly, it was Santer who recently co-authored another paper that purported to debunk statements by Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Scott Pruitt that global warming had leveled off. Santer's paper only evaluated selectively edited and out-of-context portions of information provided by Pruitt. Also, Climate scientists mocked Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, for talking about the global warming hiatus during a 2015 congressional hearing. Activist scientists worked hard to airbrush the global warming slowdown from data records and advance media claims that the slowdown was a myth.